Bonjourissimo, my non-stop nut November gamers! Cody here, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Lads, today we're going to be talking about where to park for Brel. I watched a billion videos trying to understand this. I've had a ton of talks with the homie Taste Stool to understand this. I find this is a very, very complicated subject for my monkey brain. I feel like the videos uh, that I've watched have a ton of information, some really good information, but I feel like it's a little bit overwhelming. I'll be honest. It feels like it's a little overwhelming, and I'm hoping that I can clarify A, what the point of all this is, where you should park, what you're trying to do, why you're trying to do it, so you can understand why you're trying to park and not just parking at a specific number because some guy on your monitor told you to do it, and B, why I think 1510 is a great parking spot to begin with, which is just a spoiler for the rest of the video, but why 1510 is a great parking spot for Belshazzar. But before we jump into it, you guys know what's going to happen. If you like my content, you got to sub to the channel so you're notified whenever I post. If you like the videos, be sure to like them and check me out on Twitch. Homies, if you're hearing my voice right now, I'm already live. So when you finish this video, you're going to click that link in the description box. Otherwise, you're getting a, to a gooch tickling, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, join the community Discord. It's filled with a bunch of incredible gamers. If you're looking to hang out with Chow, play some Lost Order, if you're to make some friends, if you're looking for a welcoming, kind community... I would highly recommend you check out the Discord community linked in the description box down below. And let's just jump into this bad boy. All right, so I think the way I'm going to break down this video is, first of all, we're going to go down, what are you what are you doing? Just to give you guys the numbers, simply so you understand what's happening when you convert your gear and what's happening when you hone your gear, all right? Afterwards, I'm going to talk about different parking spots, the com most common parking spots that were recommended by pretty much everyone, and then why I personally think 1510 is probably the best parking spot. So to begin with, when you convert your gear, you are going to be converting a 21 piece. For DPS, this will be your gloves. This is why if you try to go like way above and beyond and trying to hit 15, 17, or whatever it is, you keep your gloves at 21 because you're going to convert that 21 piece and it will become a plus 13 piece. When you do that conversion, you are going to get 2.5 total item level from just doing the conversion. After that, every hone on that piece will be 1.6666 continuing, okay? Now, the closer you get with your current gear, the less you have to hone the new gear. However, when you start looking at the mats, it's not always worth it to try and push the old gear as far as possible. And this is what we're going to go into. So the first method is hitting 1517.5. This means you get every single piece to 22 except for your gloves. On the week of Brel, you're going to convert your gloves into the new Brelshaza gear, and then you will be 1520 guaranteed with no honing, no nothing. You will just instantly from the conversion be 1520. I think this is the absolute worst thing you can do. Because realistically, your character right now, whether they're parked or trying to get parked, has a bunch of fused leap stones. They're going to have a bunch of bound materials. They're going to have a bunch of mats that they will even grind throughout the week, right? Because chances are, you're not going to be clearing all six gates on the very first day. And so this leaves zero room for efficiency, zero room for honing. You instantly get it, but it is very, 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 very expensive and kind of wasteful to push this hard, especially when trying to go for 22s, because the general idea here is that pushing for a lot of 22s is stinky. 21 is very, very, very efficient. 22 is very inefficient. <laughs> the next method is 15-15. Again, you will leave your gloves open. You're going to obviously take a hone off your weapon because honing weapon to 22 is suffering. And then on the week of Brel, you're going to convert your gloves over to the new Brel pieces. And then you will need to succeed two taps on this gear. Now, 1512.5, in my opinion, is actually the most well-balanced, some might even say the most efficient, because of the fact that it's the perfect balance between having the safety that you are pretty much guaranteed to do Brelshaza because you don't need a lot of taps on the new gear. However, you still have, like, you're still tapping less 22s, which is a good thing because the idea here is you want to tap as little 22s as possible because going past 21 is very, very, very inefficient. This is probably the safest and best middle ground for how to transition into Brelshaza. It's the same thing here. You're going to keep your gloves at 21. Uh, your shoulders at 21, weapon at 21. You're going to convert your gloves like usual, and then you need to hit three taps on the new gear in order to hit 1520. And lastly, 1510. 1510 is the farthest parking spot, and you're going to have to hit some pretty spicy taps. You're going to bring two pieces to 22 and then leave the rest of your pieces at 21. Once you get to the new gear, you're going to have to hit five taps on the new gear in order to get uh, all gates, brochures are ready. 
this is the spiciest and you are hitting some of the lowest percentages. However, I feel like going into the first week of Broshaza at 1510 is the right move. Now, to begin this of why I think 1510 is a good parking spot to start off with, I need to explain where I think people's accounts will be. To begin with, there's a good chance you have been saving fused leap stones for months. There's a good chance you're gonna have a bunch of bound mats by the time you get to Roshaza. And on top of that, groups are not gonna be clearing all gates on the first day. Besides the fact that is it, a, it is a six gate Legion Commander, meaning that people, regular players, right? Not streamers, people who have jobs and regular lives or anything will be restricted to raiding a certain amount of hours per day. You're going to have to learn all of these mechanics for the very first time, meaning you're not going to be able to finish all six gates in one day, probably. On top of that, as more and more days pass, you will also have more and more opportunity to earn more mats. Even if you are selling everything that is tradable, you still are going to be earning bound materials. And so you will be able to start tapping because the taps on the Broshaza gear are very, very cheap. The thing that's good about 1510 is it leaves you room to get lucky. If you notice on the screen a comparison of the current odds of hitting a 22 compared to the odds of hitting a 14, a 15, a 16, a 17, 18, it is much, much higher to hit the new Broshaza gear. Now, obviously, hitting, you're going all the way to an 18, you're going down to a 3% chance. That is very, very, very low, and it could be very, very costly. However, Chances are you're probably not going to be pushing for 15, 17 or something, right? You're going to be honing the gear at least a little bit. The minimum you can hone it is going up to plus 15 uh, if you go for the 15, 15 method. But realistically, I think most people are parking around 15, 12.5, which means you're going to be honing at least to plus 16. The reason the 15, 10 method, I think, is a great parking spot is because it leaves you room to get lucky. I know this might sound like some hardcore copium, but it's just the truth. The reality is that keeping pieces at plus 21 is extremely efficient for the future, right? If you think about past week one of honing, past week one of Broshaza, having more 21 pieces that you can then convert into plus 13s is important because if you compare the difference here between a plus 22 tap and a plus 14 tap, the difference is insane. Even if you would multiply this by five, right? Because when you think of it, that these mats can be converted at a five to one or whatever it is, it is still way, way, way cheaper to be honing on the new mats at a plus 14. And every single time you hit a plus 22, you are losing that plus 14 tap, which is very, very efficient because over the long term, past week one, if you did happen to get lucky, all of your taps went on fused, whatever it is, then you get to hone very, very efficiently for the future of Brel when you're trying to push into Brel hard or whatever you're trying to do, right? In general, pushing for 22s is just suffering. It is very, very painful. And the reality, and this is going to sound like some hypercopium, but when you're honing a lot, there, it's just easier to hit higher percentages. I know this sounds like hardcore copium, but it just is. When you hone a lot, overall, usually the average scenario ends up being true. But in a small isolated situation where you're honing one character, the reality is that tapping at a higher percentage means you just go earlier, you have a higher chance of hitting it before the average, it's just probably going to work out better for you. On top of that, there's nothing stopping you from tapping the plus 21 after the release of Brel. Like I said, you're going to have a ton of bound materials, you're probably hoarding materials, and so as you start to tap, if you see that like you didn't burn barely anything, maybe you got up to like plus 16 or plus 17 just on fuse leap stones or whatever it is, and you're like, you know what, let me convert my mats and get that last tap on the new gear instead of converting more pieces at or honing more pieces to 22. It leaves you options to make choices because realistically, it doesn't matter if you hit the 22 today or if you hit it the Thursday or Friday of Brawl Week, right? It's the same thing because chances are, unless you're like a streamer or like you played in other regions, whatever it is, chances are you're not going to be clearing all six gates the absolute first day that it's out. It's unrealistic to think so. And so you could just hit that plus 22 later on if you see, okay, it's not working out. You know what? I have all these bound mats. I have all these saved up old mats. Let me just hit it after, after the fact, after you see how your RNG has been in the initial climb towards honing your pieces. And like I said, even in that scenario, I still think going for 1512 is very, very good. I think going uh, for 1512 is a very efficient 
place to park your character because 1512 is not too crazy uh, to hit. And it's that right balance of you still have, you know, a couple of 21s that you can convert that are very, very efficient hones while still not going completely overboard ahead of time. I do hope this clarified this for other people because I'm going to be honest, this took forever for me to figure out. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I feel like this entire thing, a lot of the videos are kind of information dumps and I had a lot of trouble learning it. A big shout out to the homie Stool. He sat with me for a long time to help explain this to me and help work through this and help the, like, the process of like creating this into a video and stuff. Massive, massive shout out to the homie. He's helped me a ton making this. Uh, but I hopefully I was able to clarify this in a very simple, straightforward way. And also you guys understood the point of why I feel like 1510 is the move uh, instead of trying to push like way overboard, unless you want to. Listen, play the game the way you want. You know what I'm saying? Don't let a balding middle-aged man in your computer screen tell you how to, how to play the game. But I do think that, you know, 1510 would be the move here and hopefully it helps you guys out. But as always, I want to hear from the lads. What are your plans for Brawl? Where are you parking? Are you going for all six gates week one? Are you going for multiple 1490 characters week one? What are your goals for Brawl Shaza week? I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. I appreciate you guys watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you enjoy my content, be sure to sub to the channel, like the videos if you like them, and check me out on Twitch if you're hearing my voice right now. You are under legal obligation to come to the stream and say, Hey, Cody. I also don't know the difference between smoked meat and pastrami. They both seem kind of similar to me. When I've tasted both, they have a very similar taste. And so I am confused at the difference of them. I appreciate you guys hanging out today. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Lie, lie.